What's happening? Landlord from Alabama here, back with another video. And today, man, we finna talk about the Cowboys versus Chargers. Hey, they already know we finna bring the pain. Now let's talk about this preseason game. Let's go. Okay, first things first, man. I wanna thank everybody for all the astronomical growth I've been seeing as of late, man. The channel just been growing like crazy, and I just can't help but thank everybody who been liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff, man, helping the channel grow. And thanks to y'all, we almost at that 2K. But let's talk about this preseason game, man. And off the bat, it feel like this was a much more focused group. This was a much more physical team. This was a team that read all those headlines when y'all been throwing salt and shade at every single Cowboy player talking about their lack of aggressiveness, their lack of physicality, calling them everything but a child of God from A to Z. It's been nothing but negativity about this Cowboys group, but now it looks like they was on a mission. This was a point of emphasis for them to come out and make a statement and reestablish themselves as a physical team. It looks like they're going to run the ball, and they want everybody to know it. Now, you know I got to talk about the star of the show, Mr. Cavante Turpin. He took the Cowboys by storm. He was making the impossible look routine, man. He was just blazing fast. He was incredible. He's very agile. It's something that you just can't teach. He says speed kills. I seen him with a comment say he got the heart of a line. And you just got to be brave. You got to have that kind of courage when you playing a contact sport of this magnitude in such a small stature, but I see Cavante Turpin has no fear. He's ready for it. He want all the smoke. And without a doubt, after a performance like that, you better believe he is on this 53-man roster. And contrary to popular belief, I'm almost certain that they're going to find a way to utilize this man, him and his skill set. That speed, that agility, that quickness just can't be taught. It can't be duplicated. We need a whole lot of that on this offense, that's for sure. Now let's talk about the Ricky Tyler Smith, man. He was doing his thing. He was looking like a madman. Like I said in the previous video, I do not understand why they still playing around with him and Conor McGovern. It is obvious that he is the man for the job. Def Grip Smith was putting it on people left and right. He was moving everybody. He was having no problem. When in doubt, run behind 73. That's what it looked like the game plan was. And Tyler Smith was answering the bell left and right. I love what I see from this young kid, man. His attitude, his tenacity, his physicality levels are off the charts through the roof. You can't help but love Tyler Smith when you look at his tape. Now, a lot of people been dogging my boy Jalen Tolbert out. This is just preseason, so a lot of people might be overly excited about some players, but you can also be over-exaggerating. I know Jalen Tober had that hiccup in the back of the end zone when he didn't get his feet in. That's something that he gonna learn from. I'm sure nine times out of 10, he would have got that play right. He probably just a little nervous or something like that, man. But I'm not too worried about Jalen Tober. He did have a couple of nice catches. He had another drop. It looks like he was about to get his head taken off again. Thanks to Cooper Rush, it was two defenders right there. He probably shouldn't even threw the ball to him, but Jalen Tober would be fine. I'm not writing him off. I'm sticking with him. I'm riding with him. Mark my words, when he get with young Ryan Dakota, you're going to see a whole nother level of Jalen Tobe. Now let's talk about this defense and Israel Mukwamu. I probably butchered it a little bit. You know, I don't mean no harm, but, but Israel did have a game. He balled out. He was making plays left and right. He was sticking in coverage. He was getting snaps in the safety position and in the slot. He was sticking his nose in the box, coming stuff in the run, shooting them gaps, making plays, tackle for loss. Israel Mukwamu had a good game, man. We kind of wrote Izzy off, even though he's just a second-year player. He just got back on everybody's radar after that game. He got an interception. He was making tackles all over the field. Great game for Israel Mukwamu. 
Now let's talk about our boy Tristan Hill. He another player that was left for dead. We been told Tristan Hill to walk the plank. A lot of people gave up on Tristan, man. I always felt like he had a lot of talent and I liked his skill set, but he always seemed to be hurt or something always hindered him from showing his talents. But it looks like Tristan will make his way into this rotation some kind of way, especially after that sack script fumble that he did in the game. That was very impressive coming from a defensive tackle position. We all know if you're a real Cowboys fan, Tristan Hill is bursty. He does have a quick first step. That's one of his biggest traits. That's exactly who he is. And he did burst off that line, got his hands on the football, and recovered it. That was a huge play. That was a big time momentum shift in play. That's exactly what you want to see from Tristan Hill. He is not going down without a fight. Okay, now let's talk about our boy Jabril Cox. And I seen him running around, man. That boy is still fast. He still got that speed going. Even after the ACL injury, he looks like he's almost back in the form. I like what I seen. He was making plays left and right. He had a lot of range for that linebacker position. It's going to be nice to be able to utilize him in the middle and Anthony Barr and give Micah a little time to roam free and just cause havoc and carnage. The offensive players will never know where he's coming from. That's going to be very interesting, man. Dan Quinn is a mad scientist. I feel so Sorry for all them offenses that got to go up against these Cowboys. But I will do a few more film sessions, man, some standalone videos to go a little more in depth into what I've been seeing and what I like to see from the game. Let me know in the comments if it's a few players that you would like for me to highlight, that you would like for me to look a little more deeper into so we can further evaluate how these players progressing, these young players, these new additions. Can't wait to see how good or how bad some of these players are we got out there on the field. But that's all I got for you today, man. Just holla at your boy, Landlord from Alabama, with the same handle on all social media. And like I say, 1K, 1 Love, Cowboys Nation. Let's go.